How's it going everyone? Nick with Foreclosure Finder. I'm back with another walkthrough of the week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. New videos every Saturday morning. We are out in Chester, Massachusetts today in another one of my brokerage's foreclosure assignments. Walking through this one for the first time today. I thought this one would be very interesting. It's got a like a contemporary lake, uh, lake cabin feel. We got a little babbling brook, nice secluded lot. So I thought it'd be a good one to, uh, to showcase. So We'll start uh, outside. I'm going to pan over real quick. We'll start at the garage. Got a nice little two car garage here. Um, looks like they were using it as a workshop. So a bunch of junk still in here. Quick, uh, quick pop in though. They have like a little workshop wood shop here, but good, uh, good height on the ceilings. And this, uh, this garage looks like it's newer, at least compared to the rest of the house. Concrete, uh, the concrete pads look in great shape. The, you know, the wood and the framing in here, it, it almost smells new. Um, so this might've been newer, newer construction, relatively speaking, just a bunch of junk in here. Nothing too, uh, nothing too good. I already looked, see if we had any hidden treasures, but nice little two car garage. I mean, you can't really complain about that off street parking and uh, covered parking. And like I said, they were using that as the workshop. So not bad. Uh, we'll start with the actual house now, big old, uh, yard here. So we got a side yard. Um, I think the well, um, is up on the top there. Well and septic out here. We're basically in the middle of the woods. So it is, um, it's electric, I think electric baseboard and electric heat, and then the, uh, the well and the septic. So we'll go ahead and walk around the outside here. Again, just a lot of debris watching where I'm, or a lot of overgrowth, just watching where I'm stepping. Perfect example of why we wear pants to these properties, even though it's 90 degrees today. All right, so big old yard. Like I said, some good yard space. Obviously just needs a, a good cleanup. Got some rock climbing stuff out here. That's kind of cool. I did like this, so not too much yard in the back. We effectively are on a pretty steep slope. Um, we'll see the, the side of the house here. I'll get a little close there, but I did want to come over here for basically like kind of, I think the property line goes a little bit down, but I don't know how well it's coming up in the picture, but uh, I'll give it like five seconds of silence. You can see the little uh, brook down there. Or maybe hear it. This is nice. You can hear it up here. I can only imagine what it would be like, you know, sitting on this porch just overlooking it listening to it uh because this is pretty secluded this is pretty uh private i could picture myself living here functionality is a little meh a little meh but um not too bad we are on like part of the house is only part of the house is on a foundation you can see we have um we have some support beams under here this is basically the deck and the front part of the house is all supported only the back um has actually a foundation here only a partial basement We'll loop around the whole side. I do have the back open, but um, I want to just take a look back here because the back of the house looks pretty cool. Get it come up in the picture here. So big contemporary, you know, contemporary doesn't look like a big house from the front. From, from the back, it looks uh, looks much larger, much more imposing. I love this just straight up and down alley, basically with the windows. You got the window at the top, window in the middle, and then the door, you know, full glass door at the bottom. I think this looks really cool. Uh, the wood shingling, surprisingly, we've had a lot of wood shingled houses lately. I don't know why it's in pretty good shape. The house overall is not bad. Deferred maintenance here and there, but overall not bad. I expected this one to be pretty bad. One thing I've noticed too, is there are a few of these wooden platforms just to help with the leveling of the yard. You can see we're kind of sloping in this way. We're sloping in this way. So just to have that walkway. It's a bit uh, a bit more functional. Obviously, we're missing a few of the pads here, but they at least were taking that into consideration. Come around the side of the house here. Stack for the uh, for the wood stove. Again, still some garbage on the side of the garage here, and then we'll come back in and, and go back in through the inside or through the front door, I should say. Some more of the pads. I actually really like this. It um. It almost gives me like the old old timey vibes or like you're on a dock or something like with the wood you're walking on the wood around your property as opposed to the grass again very overgrown you can even see like the little bridge here right at the front of the house like there's nothing under there i'll show uh, i'll show as we as we walk around here because i'm not willing to walk i don't know where it drops off what's hiding in there so we'll we'll play it safe follow the paths but you can see i'll come to the side and you literally have a bridge a bridge into your front door pretty cool i'm a big fan of this i you know, i'm usually not but this for some reason this house i'm i'm actually really liking it so we'll come on through the front door nice little landing just got a little storage you know welcome mudroom area here 
We'll walk out. This is that side uh, side porch. Nice porch again, or a uh, deck. Nice deck, good space. I mean, no way to get to the yard from up here, but I mean, do you really need to? And then, and just again, the nice, the nice view. You can hear the the water in the background. This is very, very serene. Pan around. Okay, a little bit of a little bit of an issue here. Some some rotted wood, but hey, we're we're expecting to see some deferred maintenance, right? That's not too out of the ordinary. There are some like flavor. Maybe flavor is not the right word. Styling, uh, stylish, stylistic choices that I like. Um, the the whole house has it's custom built, so it's it's got its own feel. They had their own vision for it. I I like it. You can see some of the uh, the accents on the uh, I mean the, the the wood doors got almost you know marbling on the knob. It's got the engraving on the on the piece there. Um, same thing with this door, I believe. Another like old style door. Right, you see some of the inlay on the, the knob there. So that's pretty nice. This was just the door to the outside, I believe. Yes, nice. Bunch of garbage right there, cool. We'll turn around. All right, so again, little funky. Let's, before I get too ahead of myself. So you walk in, we did that little entry. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs, we'll go upstairs. So, but you see it opens up. We get a little sneak peek of the kitchen and the dining room there. This is the main bedroom. Now, this is where I say it's a bit of like a contemporary style, like lake house. This is, there's two bedrooms. This is the first one and the second one's in the basement. So it's a little bit of a, you know, uh, not necessarily standard function, functionality, but the people, you know, custom built, they weren't thinking about the, uh, the lowest common denominator when they were, when they were designing this house. Flooring is very interesting. Almost, it seems like composite. It's not wood. It's not tile. This is kind of weird. So, just closet space. Maybe there was something up here. I'm not necessarily sure why it would be built out other than maybe just for some headroom down there. Because if we look up here, that opens up into the bathroom. So the bathroom is effectively like open air. Good size. A little bit of an angle here with the. Um, with the roof line, but honestly not too bad. I can stand up in here, but then uh, a little bit of an issue with the uh, the tub there. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm sure Preservation will fill us in once they take a look, but you can see we just opened up to the, uh, so you take a shower in your bedroom, which is going out into the bedroom. That's a little iffy, uh, just not having the proper ventilation. You know, you're just getting the moisture in here, but um, you know, that's, like I said, it's just a little, little weird. You don't see that very often, just an open air bathroom, lack of better phrasing. Some more engraving in the, uh, on the doorknobs and locks here. That's, again, beautiful stuff. You have to pay extra for those these days. More closet space. Uh, funnily enough, when we get to the lower level, this looks like it was open at one point. You can see down into the kitchen. So I find it interesting. They, they blocked it off a little bit. And then just, you know, some more closet and storage space. This is the weird part that I'm not sure, you know, just more closet and storage, I guess. But that seems a little funky, uh, to be honest with you. I'm not really sure what the uh, what would go there. Windows are wood, but they, they look like they're in good shape. They're the old style crank windows. I've got a little bit of a little bit of issue up one one up there, but not too bad. So yeah, that's basically the whole top level. Top floor is this um, is basically like the primary suite. So we come down, and again, it's just like little stuff like this, like this gap here. Throw the rail there, or move the thing over. I don't know. Um, that's just me being nitpicky. But you see, you know, we got some nice, it's a very open concept. And then we come down into the, like the main living area. This is where I would maybe have done something with the stairs. Like I feel like this wall shouldn't be here and you should just be able to walk in here without having to walk all the way around. That's just me. But we get a good look of the like dining and like kitchen area. This is, this is great. Very open, I got no lights on. Well, I got lights on, but I get a lot of natural light in here in terms of, uh, in terms of the windows. Good space, I mean, plenty of eating space. It looks like the table is here. They might have had like, maybe using this as the um, living, like the living room, you know, you put your TV and your couch here maybe. Cause this is a pretty big open spot with the table over here. That would kind of make sense to me. There's the wood, uh, the wood stove. We saw the vent outside and just like the main, the main kitchen area, nothing too fancy in here. It's very, oh, you see it lacks cabinet space. So that's kind of the one, like, why does it look kind of weird? Just no uppers. Looks like they had some here at one point. This is that 
back of the closet where, I, like I said, it looks like they walled it off. So with the railing here, that had to have been open at some point and they closed it off. Not sure why, but hey, I wasn't living here at the time. But I mean, this is a good, this is a good size, size space. I'd maybe do something in terms of cabinets and just the layout functionality of the kitchen, but it's a great, you know, it's a, it's a great footprint. You can do a lot here, um, especially with some of like these built-ins. I think there's a good, there's a good footprint here and, and good potential. All right, and I believe now we go straight downstairs to the, uh, to the basement. Again, just some more, tons of natural light, a lot of big windows here. I'm really liking that. And you can just, you, there's a lot of sight lines actually in this house too. Like I can see straight out to the front. Um, and there was a few, I think through the back, the back deck we can see through as well. So coming down to the basement, uh, finished area. Again, not totally, uh, the whole house isn't um, in the basement in terms of the footprint. Got a nice washer dryer, um, you know, built in uh, at, at, at the property, a place for it. That's always good. And then the, um, we got the well, the well pump, the water heater, okay. And again, no, um, no, like, bo uh, no, um, no, boy, no HVAC. So uh, no oil tanks, no gas tanks out here or gas lines. So this is gonna be electric. We have uh, a bathroom down here as well. This one's actually, I like this one better than the one upstairs. I like this little niche out here and then they got the light coming in. I think that's pretty cool. Again, good headroom down here, especially for a basement bathroom. There is a little bit of a step up but that's more than likely so they can uh, they probably got the um the plumbing for the toilet maybe pump it pumping it out because you know i gotta got can't fight gravity but overall not too bad uh, you know it's gonna need some cleanup it's just white white tile in here but but really not too bad okay cool so like that's the rest of the basement we have this little bedroom or bathroom and then now here's the other bedroom uh so they like i said i think they probably had this set up like a lake house even though they were living here full time, because um, you would probably do something like this just to maximize the amount of people you can keep, you know, to stay over for the uh, for the trip. But you know, good sized bedroom. It's just it's just in the basement. That's really the issue. But that doesn't mean it's not functional or can't be used. And again, in pretty good shape. Really, just going to need some paint, a little bit of drywall here and there. But but overall, not too bad. And this is just at um, the entry or the access to the lower level out to the backyard. So just, you know, full access, not, I, I really like this one. I, it's a little small, I think, at least for me, you know, in terms of uh, the space I would want to require, but uh, has a lot of potential here. I think this would be a good, um, maybe like a good downsized property, something like that. You know, I'm just kind of spitballing here. Okay, I think that's it for the basement and that might be it for the tour. Nothing else, uh, nothing else making itself appear in here. I do like the little pattern they have on the, uh, on the stairs. I like that as well. It's just like the little, the little things that they do to add these style, you know, the little motif accents that I think are, are tying it together. But overall, not bad. Like this, this, this one's pretty cool. I think it should pretty, or sell pretty quickly. I don't have a price on it yet. Um, again, if you're interested in any of these properties, connecting with us, seeing our inventory, Please take a look at the links in the video description and you can connect with us through those channels. Take a look at what we have for inventory or even if you're just looking to uh, connect to purchase yourself. So I think that's gonna wrap it up today. Thank everyone for sticking around for another walk through the week. Again, like and subscribe, new videos every Saturday morning. Nick signing off till next time. See ya.